Hello, I'm Chasing the Adoni, and you may not know where I am. But since we're starting a new month, I would like to dedicate this video to beginners. Anybody who doesn't really like coding, uh, starting off with this can make it their passion. Or anybody who just likes coding, but doesn't know what coding is yet, this will be perfect. So all beginners are welcome for this video. If you're slightly, mm, what I say, familiar with coding, uh, and you can do like Unity from my past videos, please check those out. Um, being here won't help you too much, but if in case you're just interested, um, then this could be okay. So. Now let's actually start off. Um, I'm I'm in something called BlueStacks, and I have, and this is um, called PI Learn to Code. So, so we immediately get jumped into this, and I'm really familiar with this. This is actually what I've started off my entire career, um, from this to. Um, to Python, to Scratch, to Unity, and now C Sharp. So, actually now you two, but let's just get into this. Since I know this very well, we're, we're first gonna jump into the view previous stories yet. Since this is a new thing, um, my dad just decided to do this. We decided to test it out. It worked perfectly. So this won't matter that much to us anymore. So that's how you delete stories. I don't recommend that. So also, what is this? but these are automatic characters that you're given. And so I'm just, since yesterday was Halloween, I'm gonna make a Halloween themed story. So I, I like creating, I like this character called First Pet. I just call him First Pet without capitals. There. And this is how you get into the creator. So just make this entire thing. Else. And yeah, most of the time this is like a coloring thing. So then you, Add the fill bucket and completely fill it. And for him, oh, oops, I always forget about this. Always make sure that you go back if you want to add something. Yeah, that looks like it. Oh, and when it starts off, this looks kind of weird, so I'm going to make his eyes come in a bit better, like that. And then this is when he's standing. So these are his animations. Standing animations. And then this, this. Or nose. And this is gonna be a little bit different. I'm just gonna add it here. Like this. And then put this back and there. I'm doing this a little bit quick because we, we need much more things. Oh yeah, and in the right hand corner, you may not be able to see. You'll, you'll be able to see the animations that he makes. So now this is the next animation. And do this. And yeah, so now we're done with this character, I think. Actually, wouldn't it be funny if it's red? Yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah, that, that's actually good. So this is the first guy I created. And he will be with his best friend. So this is just what I was thinking of when I was a thing. So I already know that you get seven um, pre-made characters. I've decided to make one myself. And 
Yeah, so I made one right in front of you. Now let's go to the background and let's create a spooky house kind of thing. So these are tiles. You add one. And yeah, so you can make many frames, aka animations. But th these won't have any animations. And let's edit this. Um, this will just be black. And let's, uh, so we're going to be making a kind of road. That the Halloween people will be on. Now we're kind of moving off in this direction. And um, I don't really know how this is going to play out, so. I'm just going to undo all of this. And let's add the road again. I accidentally deleted it. OK. You can change the color so, of the background. I think if it's Halloween, it's going to be kind of grayish skies. And so this will be the road like this. There will be a pumpkin. I'm going to try my best to carry a pumpkin. Mm. Which is so much easier in Blender. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of tough. Yeah, yeah, I made a sort of pumpkin. Like. Does that look like a jack lantern of any sort? That kind of looks like a pumpkin. Yeah, I guess. And yeah, that looks good. So then I'll add a few pumpkins. Yeah, this is going to be where the house is. And then we'll have an extra. And then now we're going to be adding the pavement, kind of. Yeah, these will be the pillars. And we'll just be filled. And we're going to add them here. For me, the pillars seem a little bit too high for me. So I'm just going to edit them again. And make this entire row slightly less thick. And that looks good to me. Yeah, that looks much more polished. So now we're going to add a new tile. This time, this will, I'll just make this brownish. And let's add it for the top. And so then there's the house. a new one for white there and this will kind of be like the actual house this is going to be a shape and it'll come down like this and it will have 
a door. So the door will be, I like creating this kind of weird looking glass pane type of door. So okay, I guess that wasn't that good. I'll try it. Does that look good? No. It's in the wrong spot. So let's try to get in the middle. Um, this looks middle-ish. Yeah, that looks this. And I would say, I'll just put it in this way a little bit. And like this looks perfect. And just fill this in. And to make this look a little bit more like a window, add these. And then I'm going to make this. Actually, no, not that. Jeez. This color. Make it. So now this looks a little bit more like a window. And I think, yeah, this one, this seems to be a little bit big. Ah, that's good for my liking. Um, right here. And here. Oh, yeah, that, that's actually not bad. Let's add these. And for this pumpkin tile, I want to add white on the back end so that it looks perfect just like this. Um, I don't really know what else I can add to make this any better. And also, hmm, let's add a window, a creepy looking window. Oh, that's interesting. I never, never figured that out. Well, okay. Let's undo all of that. Like, if you make too much mess, though, that's too hard to undo. You can just click clear, and it'll destroy everything. <sighs> you do it again. Just so satisfying. Okay, so now let's move on to the, okay, the windows. Yeah, the windows. Uh-huh, so it'll be going like this. We'll have the window like this. I'm just going to save time like this, brown the bottom, and brown the top, and I'll make this like this. Actually, that doesn't look like a window. Here, add this, and I'm going to make a kind of reddish type of curtain to make this actually look like a window. And like this. Oh, this actually looks quite good. Right here. And yeah, I, I like the way this turned out. Let's just add, would it look better if it's like this? I would say yes, but let's make it a little bit thinner, the curtains. And yeah, now we can add the, the orange. Okay, that actually turned out much better than I expected. Let's just like put those here. Put 
the creepy house already. Maybe that's a little bit too many. So I'm just going to undo that. Okay, yeah, this actually looks quite good. Now, um, I wouldn't say that the background, it looks that good. So yeah, um, I'll keep the background gray, but I'll make grass. Grass and, and um, I can also make animations, but I doubt we'll need any background animations for this. Um, so well, that's okay. And I'm just gonna have a little bit of grass back here. Yeah, this this looks so much better. And also, yeah, I don't really have anything else to add to this haunted house kind of place. And then I'm just going to add, for this one, I'm just going to add a road. And I'm going to add another one, which is going to be green. Okay, yeah, you can't even see that. It's just barely seeable. So I'm just gonna spray some green grass over here. And some green grass over here. And actually, we won't be needing that one. And I'll just move it over over here. Uh, I, I'm kind of sorry if this is a bit of a long episode, but you need to know this to create backgrounds. And I think I'm pretty sure we're done here on that end. So let's move on to the next part. I might just still create a new character. I won't name him because that will take a bit too long. I'll undo that. And let's put, yeah, this will be like a soldier. And you have a cannon. One red. And one blue. Right here? Ah, oh, that's not even centered. Let's undo that. And let's put that over here now. This time. And, ah, oh, come on, I missed it again. Oh, this is hard. There, that's it. I might put blue on this side and red on this side. Does this look better? Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, there. This is our soldier. And let's add it for this one, too. Move this, this, this. Blue. Red. And it like this. Actually, this should be slightly higher up because that's how it should be. And blue, red. Okay, there, that, those look like cannons slash ears. Now it should be like this, I think. And it should be like. Yeah, that looks like one of them. And this looks the other. Let me add black. And let's make this one blue for a change. Yeah, that looks good. So if you look here, 
Oops, I might have accidentally forgot of the classes. There, now it looks normal. Okay, so this will be our soldier. And let's add these to the zoom. And okay, so now let's create a new story. This is what we're supposed to do the entire time. Add new, let's add this guy, this guy, and let's add a new one. He's gonna be this guy. And to finish it off, it will be a ghost. Let's finish. And let's add the scene. And this will be this one. So we'll have this guy here first. And him behind like this. Yeah, he'll be right here. Um, actually, yeah, he'll be behind right here. So then, let's start off. This is the actual coding part. So, let's do action, say. And what he'll say is, trick or treat. Trick. Trick or treat. Okay, there, trick or treat. I think that we should make a capital here. Trick or treat. And let's do the same for this one. They both will say the same thing. Trick. Trick. Or treat. That looks like it, trick or treat. Now, when we play it, it, they'll just say trick or treat. I think that we shouldn't necessarily put trick or treat for both of them then. So let's just add this back. Okay. Now, if one person says trick or treat, it's much better. And then let's go back and then now let's add a new scene and let's do this one. And you say, the candy Eh, I spelled candy. He gave us weird as if it was growing. Oh, it won't let that, so the candy he gave us looks weird. And then he will wait for three seconds. This is where time comes into play because it took him. And he'll just say, yeah. So if you play it, this is what it will look like. Sorry. Okay, so let's move back. Let's wait for it. And let's make them both move. And let's move it like this. And let's make them move fast. And he will be doing that for, I would say, three times. This will be the same. He'll wait for 
Um, yeah, he'll, this guy will also wait for three seconds. And he will also move three times. Let's actually put the move, movement in there. And let's, ah, uh, there. So is that the same for this? So now when you click it, it'll make him move three times. The candy he gives looks weird. Yeah, and they'll move three times. Oops, wrong direction. That's why it's good to check every now and then. <sighs> Let's put this in this direction in fast. That always matters. And then he Let's actually add this guy to the scene. He'll be like right there. So if this goes to like that, we can like, okay, now I got an idea, a good idea for this. So the ghost, let's make him invisible. X. And then he'll wait for, so then this guy will broadcast to this ghost. And this guy will wait for a broadcast from him. And he'll sit, and then he'll, and then he'll become visible. And he'll say, I came out of your candy. Candy. And let's go, um, wait for one second. And you'll say, ah, wait, let's, let's actually put that in. So then, let's see how this turned out. The candy he gave us looks weird. Okay, yeah, he says it. I came out of your candy. Also say and I will destroy you. And then um that's when he comes. So then this guy will also be placed right here. And then he'll be, um, he'll be, actually, he won't be broadcasting. He will wait for a broadcast. He'll also be visible, not. And, he, and then this guy will broadcast to him. And he will say, he'll receive that broadcast. And then he will become visible and say, actually, he'll move this way. Let's make him repeat it um, three times. So then he'll move and he'll say, yes, right here. This looks perfect. And he'll do it three times. And he'll say, not so fast. I will destroy you. And then, and 
just gonna wait for three seconds. And he'll say, Oh, yeah. And then what he will do is he will, and then the new scene will play. So this is our entire story so far. And I'll it's just call, so then they'll say trick or treat. Mm -hmm. Oops, that looks like there was a problem at the end because they said it at the same time. This guy says not so fast. And she needs to wait for three seconds. So let's make him wait for six seconds now. Actually, five seconds would be good. Let's see again. Ooh, okay. And okay, and then we'll add a new background, and this time we'll actually get into the animation part of this. So I'm just gonna do some we weird looking. Um, things. And let's do some of this. We are looking stuff and let's, and let's, um, add this. It goes here. Oops. Uh, I hate it when that happens. And let's add this back. Let's move this and let's go here, here, and here. I apologize if this is long, but this is just what will happen. And now let's go here. And now let's move it on the other side. Okay. Putting in the stripes. Oops, I might have forgotten this one. And let's put this one in. And this one. So yeah, there. Not and this. And let's go back to our story that I went out of. And let's add a new scene. Let's use this. And I'll say, where am I? Let's move it and say, And you'll say again. Oh, there you are. Now I will use 
my lasers. Lasers on you. You and let's go there. And then he'll wait for six seconds. Actually, he'll wait for seven seconds. Seven seconds. And he'll say, no. Um, yeah. And then he'll disappear. Visible X. And then a new here and go back here. And he's like there, and he right there. And you know, and then this is the end, and he'll say. And you can show never, never take candy. Two, I'll just say two. Yes. You two should never take candy from strangers. Okay, that's quite good. So let's, so I'm just gonna pause it. Okay, I, I just went to take a glass of water. And now let's get back. And you two should never take candy from kids. And then this guy will wait, and he'll wait for the time. He'll wait for seven seconds, and he'll say, and he'll say, um, okay. And then let's make the end of the story, which is the name. Um, I'll call this trick or treat catastrophe. Trick, trick or treat catastrophe catastrophe actually let's not call it uh, let's just spell it let's just call it trick or treat problem. That's much better. Trick or treat problem. And let's start this because this is our first ever story. And well, that is it. That is how you make a story. Let's just view this and let's see how this goes. Trick or treat problem. Okay. I just won't say anything. The candy he gave us looks weird. Yeah. Um, and then he'll be going, I came out of your candy. Ah, and I will destroy you. And then the guy comes. Not so fast. I'll destroy you. I kind of like this. So this coding is not as hard as it's 
a little bit less confusing as Unity. Unity is a game where you can actually control, but these are animations in the thing. So there we go. And I guess that's pretty much the end of this um, thing. Um, yeah, that's the end of this um, recording. And bye. This is, um, and just make sure that I, I can, I have a GitHub account now. So in Lightning Code, you uh, make sure that you look at the GitHub account. I'll post some good stuff like, um, I'll give you challenges on, I'll give you like an asset that I made in front of a recording, and then I'll give you a challenge to make a game out of it. So stay tuned for that on GitHub and bye.